Yeah. She's not going to be like, turn here. <laughs> Can we have $200 off your MOB dress? I gotta think about it. <sighs> Sorry, Dad, I do like some sexy kind of details. <laughs> and, um... You okay? <laughs> she can't go to church with that. Mommy, it's a wedding she, oh, Unless she didn't want to go to church. Number four, Momzilla versus Glam Queen. It was a day of high stakes and big personalities as bride-to-be Talia stepped into the bridal salon with her stylist Mindy. Talia had a clear vision of what she wanted to look like a glamorous queen on her big day. But there was a catch. Her mom Vicky has set some budget constraints that were making it hard for Talia to find the perfect dress. Hi! Hi! I'm Mindy. Who's my bride? Tell me a little bit about this dress you're looking for today. Glamorous. Diva. Oh, I can do diva. What's your budget today, Talia? What's my budget today? Two thousand. Okay. We're not going over. Mama Vicky was not one to be overshadowed by her daughter, and she had her own ideas for how she was going to shine on this special occasion. All right. Because I got to get my dress oh. too. Okay. <laughs> I'm the mother of the bride, so I have to look beautiful. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> the tension was palpable as Talia and Mindy tried on dresses with Mama Vicky hovering over them, ready to pounce at any moment. Despite the fireworks, Talia and Mindy were managing just fine on their own. That is, until Mama Vicky decided to intervene. So many to choose from. Plus 26. Ugh. Oof. Oh, I like this too. She. Darlene, this is it. I've waited. I am hard. just as important as she is. <laughs> she pulled out a whole new set of dresses, determined to steal the show from her daughter. Bridal stylist Lori was caught in the middle of this mother-daughter power struggle. She could see that both Talia and Mama Vicky were divas in their own right, and the pressure was mounting. Are you ready to see yourself? Poofy at the bottom. Uh -huh. I love the fit. Let's go. That is unreal. You all bought dresses up here to try on? Yep. It is not your day. Can we dress the bride first? I like looking good too. Ooh, ooh, you look so pretty. You look like me. Oh, what it, wait a minute. I found the dress for me. Y'all were supposed to look for dresses for me. Where are we focusing? Oh, gosh. It was like a ticking time bomb ready to explode at any moment. But Talia was determined not to let her mother's drama dampen her spirits. Can we give all direction to... Thank you, Lori. But I'm the mother. She fought back with a smile on her face determined to find the perfect dress that would make her feel like a million bucks. And finally, after much searching and trying on, she found it, the perfect mish to her mash. In the end, Talia emerged victorious, looking like the glamorous queen she had always dreamed of being. Mama Vicky may have tried to steal the show, but it was Talia who truly shone on her big day. It just goes to show that sometimes even the most intense family drama can't stand in the way of true bridal bliss. So, I just want to lay down on the floor right now. Have you ever seen anybody walk down the aisle in a dress like this before? No, I haven't. Ooh, that's the one. That's the one. So this is a princess dress. I like this dress. Oh, wow. That's the dress. What do you think, Mom? I think it's sexy. Could you see yourself getting married in this dress? Yes. Number three, battle of styles. Step right up, folks. We've got a pageant baby in the house, and she's all grown up and ready to dazzle. Haley is ready to step out of her mother's shadow and into her own light. But it seems that her mom is not quite ready to let go of her little girl just yet. This battle is not only about fashion, but it's also about a mother's love and a daughter's independence. Enter Preston, the fashion guru, who has his own ideas on how to dress Haley up. He's thinking Vogue, he's thinking modern, and he's definitely thinking outside of the box. Hi, y'all. He's my bride. Me. He's with you today. My mother and Preston. He is my bride's man. For my dress, I want something strapless and classic and elegant. But she's gonna sparkle, baby. Sparkle, baby. <laughs> You're a sparkly kind of girl. I've done pageant. I don't want her to do pageant. I think it's 
a little tacky. Oh, my. I want to see you in something very fashion forward. I guess we have a lot of shopping to do. On the other hand, we have Mama, who's thinking sparkles, rhinestones, and all things shiny. She wants her daughter to shine like a diamond, and she's not afraid to fight for it. This battle of the fashionistas is leaving Haley caught in the middle. She loves her mom and wants to make her happy, but she also wants to feel beautiful and confident in her own skin. It looks like a saran wrap, honestly. I know what I'm looking for. I will know it when I see it. I don't think she'll feel comfortable in anything that's not super bling. I, I know she says she doesn't want a ball game. I want you to take her this ball gown and I want to see it on her. Yes, ma'am. Oh. You have to think about how it's going to look, how it's going to flow. It's going to get caught in the grass. She's not going to be like, turn here. <laughs> well, she does it. So. The dress she has on is perfect for her, but Mama wants something different. Things are starting to get heated, and stylist Robin knows it's time for some intervention. Hey, Haley, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. What do you think? Don't like it. It's just not me. Not you. Me. You ready to show this one to Mama? Yes. We have you. Sparkle, baby. I don't think, honestly, you need to change. I would give it a one. It's not for you. What do you hate about it? There's I, not one thing I can say good, so I hate everything. Oh, y'all. She calls in Lori, the mediator, to help settle the dispute. With Lori's help, Mama and Preston are finally able to see eye to eye. They both want the best for Haley, and they both have ideas that can work together. In the end, Haley gets the dress she wants, and Mama gets the sparkles she loves. Oh my goodness. Scale of one to 10, what is it now? It's a 10. She looks beautiful. This is going to be the dress that you get married in. She. So, Haley, are you saying yes to this dress? Haley's heart is happy, and Mama's heart is full of love for her daughter. They may have had their differences, but they always come back together in the end. It just goes to show that a mother's love and a daughter's independence can coexist in perfect harmony. Number two, from tears to cheers. Once upon a time, there was a stunning bride-to-be named Tami. She was head over heels in love and ready to take the plunge into holy matrimony. With her killer figure, Tami was confident and schmexy. That's a combination of smart and sexy if you didn't know, and she intended to play her strength on her big day. However, there was one obstacle in her way, her mama. Hello, everyone. Hi. Look at you. You are so... Beautiful! Do you know what you're looking for at the moment? Like the idea of very simple, edited, Is it quite elegant, regal? Yes. So literally no boobs on show. You know. Mama had some serious concerns about the wedding and wasn't afraid to voice them. While Tami wanted to bedazzle her guests, Mama had concerns of the traditional kind. She wanted everything to be just right for the sanctity of the church, and that meant keeping things on the conservative side. Tami had found the perfect one-of-a-kind dress that showcased her figure and made her feel like a million bucks. But when she walked out in it, she was met with a frosty reception from her mom. Girls, you can open your eyes now. I love this dress. I feel like it's elegant and it's classy. That is a bit too open for me. A tad distasteful. But it's in the judge, I won't follow her with that dress. To judge. It was heartbreaking for Tami to say goodbye to her dream before it had even become a reality. With tears streaming down her face, Tami stood in a second dress with a heavy heart and drooping shoulders. That's when Gok Wan, the famed professional, stepped in. He saw the despair in Tami's eyes and knew he had to act fast. Gok worked his magic with his needle and thread offering Mama a compromise that she couldn't refuse. It wasn't exactly what Tami had envisioned, but it was a small price to pay for her dream to come true. Here is my solution. You have your dress, yeah. piece of material that will go on the inside. Then, when you leave the church, pull it out, <laughs> and you have that moment. Uh, at the moment, it's just been very quickly stitched in, so I think that that is a very strong compromise. <laughs> Number one, love in ivory. As Riley walks through the salon doors, she's followed by a posse of family members led by her beaming mother, Jennifer. Jennifer is over the moon with excitement to see her precious daughter try on wedding dresses. However, Jennifer is keeping a secret from her daughter. She's been diagnosed with an illness, but she doesn't want to damper Riley's big day, so she's putting on a brave face and staying silent. I think I actually wouldn't mind something with that level of bling. That's really pretty. 
there's so many beautiful dresses everywhere. To like get a I look said at I'll it. try on any silhouette. I just want to see on it. Any but just for fun, would you consider just to try on a ball gown? Just to, a real yeah, ball gown. I don't like this guy. Sorry, Dad. I do like some sexy kind of details. <laughs> and um... yeah, okay. <laughs> so what silhouette are we looking for? Okay. Oh my right. gosh! You guys. <laughs> Ooh, I it's going to be a minute. <laughs> I'll be back. It's exciting. It's really exciting. I feel like Come we're here. Need a lot of tea. Riley's eyes widen as she takes in the stunning gowns on display, each one more gorgeous than the last. She wants something that screams look at me, but is also tasteful and elegant. It's a tall order, but stylist Randy is up for the challenge. With a few deft moves, Randy has transformed Riley into a vision of ivory love. You can't even imagine what people go through before they walk into the door. I'm really excited to be here. Come here, come here. She really has a special day because I can tell that this is really important to her. You said ball gown and over the top and unexpected. Already, first what? dress in. First dress in. You can order more appliques and fill this in. Naked Wonderful. Under that. I'm not mad at that blush though. Okay. I like it more than I thought I was going to. Are you ready to go show them? I'm ready to go show them. Let's go Let's show them. Let's do it. The dress is straight out of a fairy tale with just the right amount of glitz and glam. As Riley twirls and admires herself in the mirror, Jennifer can't contain her joy. She's the ultimate cheerleader rooting for her daughter with all her heart. As Riley basks in the spotlight, Jennifer can't help but get emotional. Her eyes fill with happy tears as she sees her daughter looking so beautiful and happy. I think I just got a standing ovation in this dress. I don't have any word to say. <laughs> How are you feeling in this? I love it. You said over the top. Uh, this is over ball. the top. Okay, would you like to show your family? Sure. Let's turn you around. It's not you. It's not me. But it it's is not gorgeous. I just gotta hug this beautiful. Oh, baby. Randy has truly outdone himself, and Jennifer couldn't be more grateful. In the end, it's clear that this perfect dress has won everyone over, especially Riley's biggest supporter, her loving mother. Together, they'll make sure that Riley's wedding day is everything she's ever dreamed of and more. <laughs> yes! Yes! I like it. I don't know what magic is in it, but I need one. It's beautiful. It really is. Yep. That'll work, I guess. <laughs> It'll do. Only dress in the store. Becoming very real to see my daughter that beautiful and that happy. Riley's mom, are you saying yes to the dress? Yes, I am, Riley's mom. <laughs> this dress is 4400 you worked your magic. I know how special today was for you. Come here. Don't snag my dress. <laughs> I love <Priceless>. <laughs> That's all we have for you today, folks. Join us next time.